Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you the Headstrike version 2.0 of the already track that I had before. And this is the color display version, especially with the 2 inch IPS color display with 320 by 240 pixels and this one also has a carbon fiber front this one was designed to be open like this which is of course not ideal but it did work for the time back then I think I didn't even have a 3d printer back then so that was that and now we have this this is also still still open because I haven't had time to print the 3d frame around it and this way you can see it does beep as well um, you can see how it looks inside uh, the <laughs> color uh, display has actually a plastic backing instead of a do I have any metal? no uh, instead of a metal backplate so the backlight does light up the back of the display I'm sorry about that so um, anyway this has a few different uh, functions and uh, well the most obvious is obviously the 2 inch display and here I have a uh, accelerometer um, code running as you can see if I don't move the readings are zero or wherever they are and if I move it around can see it changing so this one also has the ADXL345 the BMP180 it does have three touch sensors here here and here and since the code is running uh, it only registers this is just a demo code it only registers registers level up the touches at the end of the loop you can see how it gets updated here or the screen gets erased so as soon as it reaches the end you can it does register the touch so it has three touch sensors on off switch is over here and if I turn it on, you can see the animation of the NeoPixels. It has uh, 5, 14, no, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on the bottom. Oh man, I should know this, right? 15 on the bottom and 2 on the top. Um, actually, I could have, technically, uh, go all the way around but then it would have interfered with the touch sensor so and I think this is uh, enough OLEDs uh, OLEDs <laughs> NeoPixels uh, before I had uh, the 8 NeoPixel stick on here on the side back then I didn't know about the side emitting NeoPixels so this is I think at now 2 or almost maybe even 3 years old so quite different so anyway uh, it does have a speaker obviously as you heard um, it does have uh, onboard USB it does have a USB type C adapter which you cannot see it has an LDR for auto dimming of the display it actually does that at the end of the loop uh, it has an infrared uh, receiver, it has an infrared LED as a transmitter, 
it has what else uh, I forgot um, oh yes uh, the most important uh, different change or whatever this one was based on the uh, at Mega 328 this one has the at Mega 1284p so you will likely not run out of room um, oh it does also have a micro SD card of course which is up here and uh, well obviously the rotor encoder which is not uh, used in this code demo it has the same battery uh, it will have optionally wireless charging um, I think this is it yes so and uh, I was thinking of what code to put on here but then I figured maybe people would like to have this to put their own code on it which obviously you could do also on the OLED track on the original um, actually it is also oh man um, it does two types of fronts uh, a PCB front with the name on it and the carbon fiber front obviously I like the carbon fiber better so this is what I wanted to show you I will have more updates coming up on this and um, so if you're interested um, leave me a comment um, you can actually I even did that code I was working on it uh, you can use the accelerometer to rotate the display so you could have a code uh, that you can use like that and then turn around like on a phone obviously which is quite normal standard on a phone to have rotation of the screen but you can do that here as well you could use this also as a um, <laughs> The touch sensor reacts on the wood uh, since it's conductive it thinks it's a finger <laughs> so if I put it on the table like that oh actually on this side it doesn't but on this side it does <laughs> that's kind of funny um, anyway that's uh, if you don't use it or if you use it different on the in the code that you're gonna use uh, it's not gonna happen obviously so uh, you could also have it like I did uh, on my remote that um, you could have uh, the requirement to touch two sensors at the same time to get it to register like here of course for example nothing happens it only happens if I touch it on this side as well so I could do it this way or this way so anyway um, yes so this is the new uh, I call it heads track uh, from my uh, heads family which I have many many different items which you might have seen before and um, this is the newest uh, version and as I said, if you're interested, uh, just get in touch with me. Oh, I also, I actually forgot to say it at the beginning of the video because most likely not many people are left uh, still watching it. Uh, I cannot ship to the United States again. As of, I think, the 7th or something like that, if I remember correctly, I can unfortunately not ship to the United States I also cannot uh, still not ship to Australia so that's kind of a bummer I don't know about Australia but I hope that uh, United States will open again soon I still can ship to Canada and uh, one would think there are more planes flying to the United States instead of Canada but obviously not so this is it and um, 
think so i don't know what to say uh, <laughs> again it's uh five o'clock in the morning so that time is australian time and this is winter time so i still not i did not update it and now i don't have to do it because winter is in front of the door so to speak so anyway this is it thanks for watching and take care everybody